Hi guys, it is that time again. It's time for another declutter. This is just gonna be a constant series on my channel. I know you guys love these and I constantly need to do them. They help keep me accountable. And going through this collection and keeping it as clean and organized as I can. Most of y'all already know this, but if you're new to my declutters, hey, what's up? I'm Kelly. I make beauty content online, so I definitely have a lot more products than the average person needs. I want to emphasize that. I never want somebody to look at my makeup collection and think that they don't have enough makeup because that is truly not the case. Nobody needs this much makeup. I definitely keep more on hand than the average person because it would be boring for you guys to watch my videos and my content across all my different socials. Always using the same handful of products. I'm always trying new stuff, old favorites, drugstore, high end, all that. So I definitely keep more products on hand and it definitely is a lot, which is why I like to go through and do these declutters. I'll keep anything that I want that I will use in future tutorials or just daily life, whatever. I'll toss away anything really expired and everything else gets donated. Friends and family get stuff. I also partner with local organizations. I would highly recommend if you have gently used makeup that you would like to donate, contact your local women's shelters. And if you live close to bigger cities, a lot of times there's a lot of other organizations too that will take gently used makeup. So nothing's getting wasted here. And as always, when I do my declutters, there will be a giveaway for you guys. I'm gonna make a big mystery box filled with a bunch of brand new makeup for one of you guys. So just comment down below what you're most excited for this holiday season, whether it be like Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, any holiday that's coming up as part of the season. I feel like November and December, there are so many different holidays or even New Year's in January. Comment what you're most excited for about this holiday season or to do this holiday holiday season and I will pick one of you and send you a big box of new makeup and we can all chat in the comments. Without further ado, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and hit the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all my future uploads and let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first place we are gonna start is my eyeshadow palettes. These are all on display. Like I can barely even open some of these drawers because they're all caught because there's way too many palettes that I try and shove in here because it's been quite some time since I went through these drawers. So we definitely need to go through them and this is gonna be our first order of business. I think this is the only drawer that actually pulls out all the way. All the other ones are like caught somehow on some palette. So like clearly these are overstuffed. So, all right, let's start with this middle drawer. This is where I put like my most like everyday palettes, which is why this one is overstuffed and won't even fully open. Um, so there's a couple right in the front that I like just got that I am going to be keeping. So first we have the new Patrick Ta palette. I've only got a chance to use this a few times and so far I really like it. So this one will definitely be keeping. Also the new Natasha Denona. I need a nude palette. Really beautiful. Haven't gotten a chance to use it a ton yet. So this one I'm going to be keeping as well. Okay, I see this little Urban Decay Naked palette. This one I'm gonna go ahead and donate. I'm also gonna donate this ColourPop Feeling Bubbly palette. Really pretty as well, but I definitely have these shades in other palettes. So I'm gonna donate to someone else to get better use. Anastasia Soft Glam, I'm gonna go ahead and keep. I do reach for this palette often, it's really pretty. And I'm also gonna keep my Makeup by Mario Master Mats. This is probably my most used eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna keep this one. Up next, we have the Tartlet Energy palette. This one is really pretty, but honestly, I don't grab for it very often. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. I'm gonna keep this Milani Gilded Mini Palette. Love to have this on hand for drugstore tutorials. Really great drugstore palette. Also gonna keep this little mini e.l.f. eyeshadow palette as well. Really love this. Great option from the drugstore. I am gonna go ahead and donate though this little e.l.f. highlighter and blush duo to someone else to get better use. Up next, I have the ColourPop Not A Box of Chocolates palette. Let's open this. This is really, really pretty. But again, I definitely have these shadows in other palettes. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate. We also have the color pop set in stone. This one I am gonna keep because I do really love this palette. I have this tiny little Charlotte Tilbury palette. This one, honestly, I never really reached for, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate it. I'm also gonna donate these Lorac palettes. Really pretty, but again, I definitely have these shades in other palettes. And there's also this one as well, which I'm gonna donate, as well as the color pop Lush Life. This I'm gonna go ahead and donate too. We have a NARS palette here. I think this was from last year, one of their holiday collections. I definitely have all these shades elsewhere, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. I have another Patrick Ta palette. This is his original palette. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. We have a rare beauty palette. This one I'm going to go ahead and keep as well as this little Natasha Denona palette. I don't think they sell this one anymore, but I love to use this. This light shade right here is so pretty for all over the eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this. I'm going to donate this ColourPop one as well as this Natasha Denona small palette. I'm going to donate the Wet n Wild in Love with the Cocoa palette. I have to keep my Going Coconuts palette from ColourPop. This is an OG and I love it. So this one I'll be keeping. I have two more e.l.f. palettes. I'm going to keep this one and donate this one. This one hasn't even been opened yet. So I'm going to give it to somebody else to get better use. I'm going to keep this Wet n Wild palette. This is one of my favorites from the drugstore. And I'm going to donate these to a ColourPop palettes. Also going to donate this CoverGirl palette. I have a Sigma blush palette here. I don't think I've ever really gotten much use out of this, although it's beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and donate it. I also have this Tarte Park App Princess palette, which this one's more like highlights and contours. I'm going to go ahead and donate this one as well. I'm going to keep this tiny little Natasha Denona palette. I love these from her. They're really great for travel. And this one's more of like a warm tone 
found one. I have this Cab Cosmetics palette, which I'm gonna go ahead and donate. I have one of these OG House Labs eyeshadow palettes. This one I'm gonna go ahead and donate. I have two more NARS face palettes, or this one is actually, I guess, technically an eye palette. And then this one's a face palette, but I'm gonna donate both of these. I have a Cover FX palette. This is honestly probably so old. So I'm just gonna go ahead and toss this because I don't even think this brand exists anymore. So I'm not gonna keep this around. I have the ColourPop Get In Fresh palette. I love the big palettes from ColourPop. This one's really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. And I am also gonna keep their Bare Necessities palette, which is one of my favorites from them. We have this Becca palette, Be A Light. Again, another brand that is not even around anymore. So I'm probably gonna toss this one. I definitely have this one for like years. We have this Ben fit little cheek squad palette. This is so pretty, but again, I really didn't get much use out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and donate. I have a Fenty Beauty palette here. I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Another Tarte palette, which I'm going to donate. This one's actually really cool. It's like full of all of their blushes. So hopefully somebody else can get better use. I have a little BH Cosmetics. This is also a little blush palette, which I'm going to donate. And the last thing we have in here is a Pure palette. This one is a face palette and I'm going to donate it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and clean this drawer real quick before we start putting stuff in here. There's like some shadow remnants. Wanna make sure everything is nice and clean. Clearly I had like an eyeshadow or something explode in here. It's gonna be so nice to like actually have room in these drawers to place my palettes. So I'm gonna do some of these bigger ColourPop ones first, and I'm gonna stack them towards the back like that. Put the smaller palettes will go more towards the front as well as the palettes that I tend to reach for on a daily basis. So I'm gonna do the original Patrick Ta, new Patrick Ta, the new Natasha Denona palette that I've been using, Makeup by Mario Master Mattes, and the Anastasia Soft Glam. And then I'll just go in with some of the smaller palettes and just put them kind of where they fit. And this is really nice because before I had like palettes all stacked on top of one another, but now I don't have to do that. They can all kind of have their own little place and it works. One drawer done. All right, you guys, we're gonna take a little break from the declutter to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Foreo Sweden. I've talked about and used their products for years, but they are having their Black Friday sale right now, which is their best deal of the year. You can get up to 50% off of all of their products, and then you can get an additional 5% off with my code, which is Kelly5. Honestly, you can't go wrong with any of their products. They have amazing skincare devices, but one of my personal favorites is the Bear 2. If you want a sculpted and chiseled face, say no more, like literally you need this. It like gives your face a workout at home would also be a great gift option too. This is basically an at home microcurrent device. I love it. It's quick and easy to use, but they have tons of different skincare devices on their site. You really can't go wrong with anything. It really defines the face, lifts the face. You can like visibly see a difference when you use it both immediate and then also over time, it's gonna help with wrinkles and to reduce puffiness in the face. So I'll have all the details for the Black Friday sale and a link to Foreo's website right down below in the description box if you guys want to check them out. All right, moving along to the next drawer, Right on top, I see the ColourPop Your Golden palette. Again, I really love their bigger palettes like this, so I'm gonna keep it. I have the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette, which this is so, so cute, perfect for fall. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. I have this small mini little like tartlet palette. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this one. I'm gonna keep this all matte new e.l.f. palette. This is part of like their newer eyeshadow palettes that they launched, I'm gonna keep this. We have the Natasha Denona Retro palette, really, really pretty pinks in here. I'm gonna keep this one. Little Kylie Jenner palette. Palette. This is like an OG. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. Have a Charlotte Tilbury palette. I'm also gonna donate this one. An Urban Decay Naked Basics. This is gonna go ahead and keep. I have a big Tartlet in Bloom palette. This one is huge. So many different shades. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. Oh my goodness, we have the Tati Beauty palette. I loved this palette. Honestly, it was so pretty. Tati Beauty does not exist anymore, but it's still a great palette nonetheless. So I'm going to go ahead and donate this to somebody else to get better use. We have a small little makeup by Mario. This is just a tiny little quad from him. I'm going to go ahead and donate this. We also have the Urban Decay Mini Naked 3, which I'm going to donate. We have this ColourPop Lust or Dust. I'm going to go ahead and donate this. This still has like the plastic packaging, so somebody else can get better use out of it. I'm also going to go ahead and donate these little ColourPop palettes. We have these Sigma Diana Saldana palette. Love Diana, such a beautiful palette. I'm gonna keep this. We have another Makeup by Mario. This is the Metallics one. I'm gonna keep this. We have a small palette from Lawless. This one we're go gonna go ahead and keep. Really great for travel, great like neutral palette. We have an Ofra palette here. Ooh, I like can't open it. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. We have the Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is the Nudie number two palette. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. I have the OG Jaclyn Hill palette. Oh my goodness. You guys remember this? Her OG palette with Morphe. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. And then I'm going to donate the Divine Neutrals palette. This one is like the newer one that she did with them. And I'm going to donate this one because I feel like a lot of these shades are in the bigger palette. So I don't need to keep 
both. All right, we have a little NARS palette here. Gonna go ahead and donate. We have the ColourPop Gone Matte, which I'm gonna keep. We have the Natural Lust from Too Faced. This I'm gonna go ahead and donate. Another Ofra palette, which I'm gonna go ahead and donate. We have the Violet Voss HG palette. This I'm gonna go ahead and donate. I have this small Lottie London palette. I don't believe this has even been used yet. I'm gonna donate this. I have a bunch of these little eyeshadow palettes from Fenty. I'm gonna keep this one, but then I think for most of the others, I'm gonna go ahead and donate them. Like this one's really pretty, but I'm gonna donate to somebody else to get better use. I have this one too, more pinky, which I will donate, and this one, which is more peachy, which I will also donate. Then we have the Urban Decay Petite Heat. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. I'm gonna donate this Violet Voss Creme Brulee. I'm gonna keep the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette. Really great for like a smoky eye. I'm gonna donate the Too Faced Naturalize palette. And then I have two small NARS ones. This one I'm gonna go ahead and keep. Looks like that. And then this one, are they the same? I think they may be. They are slightly different, but I'll keep this one and donate this one. All right, just gonna go back in and organize. This drawer was clean, so I don't have to worry about cleaning it again. Again, and just put these little palettes on in here. Sometimes it's like a jigsaw puzzle. Getting these all in here, but I think I'll be able to make it work. All in there. All right, next drawer we're gonna tackle. Right up front, I see the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I love this palette, I'm gonna keep this. Then I see this little Fenty Beauty Palette. I bought this and thought that I was gonna get a lot more use out of it than I did, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. Next, we have this ColourPop Palette. I'm gonna go ahead and donate. We have the Too Faced Better Than Chocolate, which this is so beautiful, but I have these shades in a lot of other palettes, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. I'm also gonna donate this newer e.l.f. palette. I'm gonna donate this cute little blush palette from ColourPop, and I'm gonna donate this Too Faced faced like purple jam palette, so, so cute. But I'm gonna give it to somebody else to get better use. The Natasha Denona Sunrise palette, which this is really beautiful. I'm gonna keep this. And then we also have the Zendo palette, which this one I'm gonna go ahead and donate. Then I have this little CoverGirl palette, which I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep both of these small ColourPop palettes. These are great for travel. We have another Kylie Cosmetics palette, which I'm gonna donate. This little Sigma palette, which I love. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. We have a Benefit, I think this is a face palette, which I'm gonna go ahead and donate. Anastasia Modern Renaissance, which I am going to keep. We have this ColourPop Smoke Show palette. This is really nice for like silver and really smoke smoky look, so I'm gonna keep this. We have the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. I love this. It's really, really beautiful, so I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna donate this smaller Too Faced Palette. Also gonna donate this ColourPop Palette. We have the Natasha Denona Gold Palette, which I'm gonna go ahead and keep. We have a lot of big ColourPop palettes in this one, so first we have the Smokin' Hot, which I'm gonna keep. It's a mood. This one I'm gonna go ahead and donate. And then we have the Play It Jewel, which has some bright pops of color in it, so I'm gonna keep this one. And then we also have the Rock Candy, Candy, which this one is more cool toned, which I'm gonna keep. Then we have this Tartlet palette, really, really pretty. I'm gonna keep this one. We have an Ofra palette, which I'm gonna go ahead and donate. We have the Too Faced Natural Nudes, which I'm gonna keep. The Urban Decay Naked Reloaded, I'm gonna go ahead and donate this one. Huda Beauty Naughty palette, this is so pretty. I'm gonna keep this. The Tarte Maneater palette, I love this one for travel as well. I'm gonna keep this. For the ColourPop That's Taupe, I'm gonna go ahead and donate. We have this pretty Zoeva palette that I'm gonna donate. And then last but not least, we have the ColourPop Stone Fox, which I'm gonna go ahead and keep. So I'm gonna go in and organize this drawer, put everything back and in place. There we go, all organized. All right, these drawers look so much better. We actually have like space in them. They all open and close on their own and I can actually like adequately see everything. So love that. And then we have all of these to go ahead and donate. Okay, the next drawer we have to tackle is concealers. This is overflowing. It gives me so much anxiety. I always just grab like the first one in the front because I can't even dig down like, there is no need for any human to have this many, so we need to go through. On top, I see my trusty Tarte Shape Tape that I use all the time, but I think this one is honestly like almost completely done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and toss this. We have the new Makeup by Mario, two different shades, more brightening, and then one for all over the face, which I am gonna keep both of these. I do really like these. I'm also gonna keep the Natasha Janona Hygiene. Love this, it's so good. I have a Huda Beauty corrector and concealer, which I'm gonna keep. I have a bunch of the new Koki concealers, which I absolutely love this concealer, but I do not need all of these different shades. I think when it first came in, I didn't know what exactly shade I would be. And I just like shoved them all in here. So what I like to do with a lot of concealers is 
is keep like a lighter, more bright shade. So I'm gonna keep this one and then keep another shade that would be good for like all over my face that's a little bit darker. So I'm gonna keep this one for that. And then these ones I can get rid of. I have a couple of the Hourglass Vanish, which I love this concealer. I have three of them right here. I actually do use these all the time. This one is almost completely done, but I am gonna keep these. Gonna keep the House Labs concealer. One more Hourglass Vanish, which again, a lot of these are like almost done with like nothing left, but I'm gonna keep them until there's literally nothing because I love them. That's how good they are. Okay, I have about a thousand shape tapes, so I'm gonna just grab them all because no one needs this much, like at all. Not sure why I thought having this many made sense. Okay, it took me so long to find all the shape tapes that the camera literally died on me, but we're back. These are all gonna go, and I am going to keep these three shades. We have a medium for when I'm a little bit tanner and need this to cover up like blemishes, light neutral for underneath the eyes, and light medium for when I'm a bit less tan for blemishes. So these are the three that I'm gonna keep. I see the Catrice Instant Eye Brightener. Love this stuff, gonna keep that. I do have a lot of these Kosas concealers too which I do really like these, but I don't need all the ones that I have. So I'm gonna try and gather them up. I have three of the Kosas concealers. I'm gonna go ahead and keep these. They're all different shades. I'm gonna get rid of this Tarte um, white concealer. I never really find myself using this. And I'm also gonna get rid of this Rainforest of the Sea one from Tarte. I prefer Shape Tape. I have a Darker House Labs concealer, which I am gonna keep. These are a few of my favorite drugstore concealers. So I'm gonna keep these. I have Catrice, two different shades of the Physician's Formula, the NYX Bear With Me, and the Wet n Wild Incognito. These potted concealers from NARS are actually really Really great for blemishes, but I have quite a few of them, so I do not need all of them. I'm just gonna keep one and get rid of the rest. We have some more shape tapes in here, so I'm gonna grab those to get rid of. I'm also gonna get rid of this Benefit Boing concealer, as well as this Uoma concealer, also gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna give a bunch of these shape tapes to my mom and friends and family because I got everybody on these. So trust me, these will get good use, but we have a lot of them. Okay, we have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, which I'm gonna keep another drugstore favorite. Also gonna keep the Makeup Revolution IRL Filter Finish. I also really like this from the drugstore. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this Jouer Concealer. And I'm also gonna get rid of the Charlotte Tilbury. I love Charlotte Tilbury's complexion products normally, but I never really reach for this concealer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of these. I have another one of the Jouer here. The problem is with a lot of these concealers, it's like I have a lot of different shades of them, depending on how I'm using them, whether I'm using them to like brighten up the under eyes or I'm using them to cover up blemish. Like I use different shades, especially different times of the year. So I have a lot of shades of different concealers, but like I don't need all of these clearly. We have the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I'm gonna keep this. We have the Haley's Beauty Rewind, which I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this Colfi concealer as well. I have a couple of these It Cosmetics concealers. So I'm gonna gather them up. I will keep one and get rid of the rest. I also see another Haley's Beauty Rewind. So this one I'm gonna get rid of since I kept the other one. I see two more Hourglass Vanish. These are both almost done, so I'm gonna toss them. We have this Givenchy Concealer, which honestly, I don't know that I've ever even tried this, but she's obviously very bougie. So I'm gonna keep it so I can try it. Put it towards the front so I can actually see it. We have a Random Beauty Sponge, which is very dirty and I'm just gonna toss. Rem Beauty Concealer. This is actually really good for like blemishes and stuff. Potted concealers I always find work really great for blemishes. Not so much on my under eyes personally, but I do like this. So I'm to keep it. I have one of these Catrice Ultimate Camouflage. I'm gonna toss this. I have a bunch of these Becca Eye Brighteners, which I'm gonna go ahead and toss. And I'm also gonna toss the Too Faced Eye Brightener as well. And when I say toss, I don't mean throw away. I mean, just like put in a pile of stuff that I'm not going to be keeping. This Ofra little wheel has seen better days. This is definitely expired. I'm gonna toss this. So this one is actually gonna go in the garbage as well as this one too. Okay, next we have the Too Faced Born This Way concealers. I actually really love these, but I have quite a few of them. Don't need all of them. So I'm gonna try and grab the ones that I do have. Oh my gosh, there is a ton in here. I use them to contour and stuff as well, but I don't need all of them. I'm gonna try and move this forward so we can see what we're working with. Okay, moved everything up. Now I got all of these Too Faced ones. Like I said, I'm gonna keep two. These are the two shades that I'm gonna keep. Okay, I see a lot more shape tapes in here, which I'm gonna gather up. I have a few of the Dominique Cosmetics concealers, which these are really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one and donate these two. These ones I am all gonna donate as well as these. I have a lot of the NARS Creamy Concealers, again, in different shades here. This one is more of like a corrector. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this one. I don't really reach for it. These are all of the different shades of the NARS Creamy Concealers that I have. So I'm just going to keep this lighter one and then a little bit of a darker one as well and donate these. I'm gonna keep Rare Beauty 
Fenty and this Laura Mercier concealer. I have this little Ofra palette, which I'm gonna go ahead and donate. I'm gonna keep these two CoverGirl concealers as well as these e.l.f. concealers. I have a couple of these Lancome concealers, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep one of them. I'm also gonna keep this Revlon concealer and the rest will be donated. All right, let's try and go in and organize this. Let's do some of the bigger concealers first. Put them in there. We still have a lot, but honestly, this is much more organized, obviously, than when you saw it to begin with. And like I said, I am always grabbing for like different shades. So at least I can see everything that I have now. And we'll probably declutter this one again sometime soon. All right, you guys, that is the end of the declutter. There are definitely more drawers that need to be decluttered. So we will continue going on through and make this a series. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.